Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our campaign as the Netherlands in Victoria 3. We are dominating Western Africa, kind of. I mean, Britain has a lot of this, but yeah, it's uh, it's not great territory. It's pretty much desert up there, but we are dominating some of the richer regions of West Africa. We are trying to dominate uh, sort of Central Africa, but that is not going to happen, it looks like. Everyone has the jump on us there. So I'm hoping we can get a good jump in Southern Africa when we get our malaria prevention technology done. Meanwhile, we are fighting Chile in this uh, glorious war for pretty much all of Chile. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to keep fighting that. We're going to try and take Santiago with a... Um, with a naval invasion that's going to be 40 days away so that's fine i want to just exert a bit of control over this region and you know get some of these lucrative gold mines that they have up in here and also take the million population that they have over here as well uh, as you can see although this area not so much not so big a population in this region uh, but Santiago, 654,000 is fantastic. They've got some decent buildings over here. Sugar plantations, tobacco, wheat farms, a port, naval bases, all that sort of stuff. A railway even as well, which is fantastic. Um, so hopefully we win. What is this? Is that a naval invasion or is that, that a naval battle? Uh, I don't get why it's got the navy icon. And I haven't loaded out and loaded into the game either. Um, well, that's weird, but okay. And we did we did manage to take, uh, take up here, which is fantastic. So I'm actually going to move you to advance that one quickly. And then you can move down south straight away. Shouldn't take you long to get there. Just advance. Just take that little snippet. And then you can come down here. And they're unfortunately going to be... Choosing which place to go and they're kind of stuck on this little spit of land over here now um, So we should have a pretty easy job of taking the rest of Chile now. That's very nice to see that is fantastic We're making some furniture manufactories. <laughs> Excuse me Furniture is not in good supply Paper as well. So I'm gonna have a look at potentially getting some more paper some more furniture and some more luxury clothes so, let's have a look. Paper. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. I mean, 15 is its just not, not, not where we need it to be. It's a long way away from uh, being sustainable. Luxury clothes, and there's only 10 available to import, really. And that's a long way as well. But furniture-wise, let's have a look. Um, there we are. Oh, God, again, nothing really coming for us there. We're going to have to rely on our own market to sustain these needs. Um, why? There we are. Oh, it was just showing the market. Get off the market, then. There we are. We are absolutely crushing them now. This is fantastic. Where has their army gone? I actually do not know where their army has gone. Um, they don't seem to be defending anywhere unless they've been fully destroyed, which I... It doesn't seem to happen in this game very often. Oh, there they are. They were there. Now they're destroyed. Identification documents. Uh, plus 25 taxation capacity. That's great. Um, you... Ah, there we are. They capitulated. And now we have the Netherlands southern tip of South America. Uh, Dutch South America. Fantastic. That is brilliant. Uh, and we've just built another... We've just built another 1 million population up uh, onto us there. That should help with our colonial growth as well, of course. Um, and that should also potentially make these a bit faster. They're not too slow. But compared to over here... I'm not going to click on that yet. Yeah, look at that. 3,600 days. <laughs> that is just shocking. It's still on point two four. Ah, it is, it is not good. <laughs> it is really not good. But I'm glad we took this area. 
That extra boost from those gold mines is going to be invaluable to us in the long run. And we've instantly just come up quite a bit in our cash, which is fantastic. Uh, now, looks like we've lost a bit of bureaucracy through that. So I'm thinking, let's build a, yeah, let's build another another one over there. And let's build another one in Ghana. Another two in Ghana, actually. Dutch East Indies Peasant Revolt. Okay, this is, uh, this is kind of scary. Hmm. Switch sides. I mean, we're on the Dutch East Indies side. America could get involved in this. So could France and Britain. So could Ching, of course. Um, but yeah, we'll be on, we'll be on their side. I don't really want to help them out. I don't think we need to. Where are your armies, Dutch East Indies? I guess we're going to have to fight your war for you again. You are pretty much useless. I, I, this is one of the annoying things, like, with puppets. Like, there is no point in them, really. Like, unless it's just going to be so much infamy to take a region like Sokoto, for example. I kind of wish now that I'd just taken Oyo and Benin as states. Then we could directly influence these... And, you know, sort of build what we wanted rather than just letting them do their own thing. And, you know, directly have an impact over here rather than just sort of a slight impact. Um, yeah, the puppets, the puppet system really does need some work, I would say, um, to make it worthwhile. Ah, oh, USA and Mexico. Go on, have a... Uh, have a tango and please sort that border gore. <laughs> Please sort that border go. Uh, we're building some more paper manufactories. How is the paper doing? Uh, yeah, it's starting to get even. So that's good. So with those two done, that should be fine. Then we're going to build some clothes and cotton plantations. Do we have any massive surpluses? We do have sugar and... Fa we have a massive surplus of fabric and we're just not using the fabric. Um, so that's one thing that we want to be mindful of. Uh, that's losing us a lot of money. I don't need the paper anymore. That's doing nothing. And furniture. Yeah, we'll just get rid of all of those. So protect domestic supply of wood. Yep, I think we're going to do that. Uh, exporting a dye. That's fine. Uh, fabric is fine. Coal. Yeah, we're not really exporting that much, so it's fine. Uh, oh, yeah. I should have got you this guy <laughs> in on the action. Okay, so how are we doing? Oh, we're getting smashed. We are getting crushed. We are getting absolutely bullied. What is this? A peasant revolt? Yeah. What do they, what do they want from this war? Nothing, really. Could have supported the peasants. Um, but I guess not. The rest of the... Like, literally none of the Dutch East Indies has... Has remained part of uh, the Dutch East Indies. <laughs> Luckily, they don't want anything off us. They might become independent, though. That would be annoying, but... We could just conquer it back ourselves. Um, quite like Siam. Siam's a great puppet. Over here. Uh, monument to the king. Monument worthy of the king. No, we will make the monument. Stop establishing colonies in my places, people, please. This is my land. Just because I say so, okay? I know we're not big enough to bully anyone yet, but... <laughs> I say it's mine, it is mine. <laughs> But look at our economy. It has skyrocketed recently. That is fantastic. That is probably a lot in part due to the fact... Well, not a lot in part. That doesn't make any sense. I can't speak today again. Um, but yeah. It is mainly due to the fact that we now have so much... So much construction capability. Um, and we are just constructing as quickly as we can, really. 
Um, so once these textile mills are done, how much does a textile mill create? 880 clothes. Really? That will really help our market out. Are you sure 880? I'm not too sure on that. That seems like a bit of an obscene number. More rubber. Rubber rush. Cool. That's what we like to see. How long before we get malaria prevention? 33 months left. Okay, cool. Very weird how it got rid of bureaucracy. I don't, I don't know why. That must be something to do with the update. But in the United States, it didn't do that at all. Um, so once we've built those... Yeah, it's starting to bring down the deficit quite significantly. We should have enough fabric still. Obviously, the amount of fabric will go down quite a bit. But yeah, we've got a 474 surplus. So we should be okay. We just need to get these people... Um, Need to get these people into the factories. Uh, we've done... Freedom of Thoughts. We need an Arts Academy above three. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I mean, the journal doesn't really give us that much. <laughs> um... So, yeah, clothes is coming down. That's okay. Hopefully, these textile manufacturers will be fine. I think we need to build some more furniture then. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're kind of a bit messy over there. In terms of the market, the essential goods we need. We need hardwood. Transportation. We need more coal, definitely, for our fires of industry. Um, artillery could be a good thing as well. Iron, we've got a little bit of a surplus. Steel's about equal. Explosives and lead as well. We have none. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to build five in Los Rios. I know there's no people there, but they will move in. Also, oh, we've got... Let's, uh, let's fill these out. Definitely worth it. Um, and we need coal, don't we? So, Gelray... Get you up to 10 coal mines. That'll be fantastic. Oh, we've, we've not got many peasants in a lot of places. Um, then we needed furniture manufactories. Uh, we've got eight in Galway as well. Thinking, let's go for Holland. Oh, let's get 10 in Holland. There we are. That should be fine uh, for now. That's a lot of building to be doing. And they're now building four simultaneously, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Motor industries. That should be quite good. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some of those. That'll help the railways out. Uh, then we've got our lead mines, our gold mines, our coal mines, our furniture manufactories. And then we'll have a look at what we need after that. And we're pretty much, you know, we're bouncing around on our cash. But it should be fine. In terms of expansion, look at Russia go down here. Never thought I'd see Russian colonization down here. But I guess <laughs> they're colonizing a lot better than us. Luckily, at the minute, no one has come down to Herrero and Nama. But, yeah. 26 months left. We just need to wait out that 26 months and then we'll start colonizing quickly. And that'll be great. And I'm so glad we took this area. Okay. Peace treaty. The USA and America signed a white peace. Oh, God. Look at this. What is this? What is this? This is terrible. I mean, it's not as horrifying as this, but it it's bad. It, it's really bad. Um, oh, yeah. we've we, I forgot about this war. Um, looks like we're winning-ish. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not... It's, <laughs> it's not going well for either of us, really. They have lost a lot more than us. That's all I can say. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, it seems like we're winning now. It seems like we are pushing them back, which is great. Could do a bit of a naval invasion onto here. Jambi is over there. It's, uh, naval invade. Yeah, no general troops. I know, I know that, but... Well, to be fair, we should just let them clean this up first. 
But I do kind of want to invade now while... Hmm. Are you fighting? Yeah, you are. Stick you on standby. As soon as this battle's done, which uh, should be soon. Unless... Okay, we might have someone to naval invade now. We're going to invade North Sumatra, and we're going to use that guy. Either one, it doesn't matter. We'll keep someone over here to keep on pressing. Uh, but we'll get that naval invasion done. 42 days, that's fine. Questionable practices. Let's add some government expenses. Standard of living's going back up again. Our population has kind of plateaued. Is that, in fact, has even come down? Which is not great. It was at 11 million. Uh, and I don't know why it has come down. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll sort it out. Um, yeah. Mostly laborers. 32% of the country is peasants. We have clerks, which is a lot. Shopkeepers, farmers, machinists, servicemen, clergymen, aristocrats, bureaucrats, engineers. Shopkeepers have the biggest political strength, even more than the capitalists. Wow. Uh, mainly Dutch, but it's a big mix. Only 36% of the population is Dutch. But the Dutch do hold the political strength. Uh, and religion, 29% animist, which is cool. Uh, and Protestant pretty much has all the political strength. The animists have none. <laughs> Poor guys. Uh, we can make the trade unions more happy. That's fine. I thought that I was going to say, where's Germany come from? But it's Waldeck or Valdeck. Uh, Nassau versus revolutionary Nassau. There's a lot of revolutions going on right now. Are they trying to tell us something? Ah, we got this naval invasion done then. And we are pushing them back now. Excellent. Um, it would be nice to have a few more armies. Oh, they have very low morale right now. So we need to keep that up. Yep, finish that off. Then take this front. Uh, and then we should, we should win. We should win. We have overtaken them now in the war exhaustion department. So um, we should be fine. We should win. Keep Dutch East Indies together, which is fine. Not amazing, but it's fine. Um, then, yeah. We just need to, to link our two lands together over here. Yeah, we can only have four interests still, unfortunately. But how long is it taking? I mean, quite a while still, but it's not too much. Just can't wait till we get this malaria prevention. That's really going to help us out massively. But when we get that, we do need to make sure we have free uh, bureaucracy. What? No, Britain. Why would we, we become your protectorate? Bro, the 10th ranked power in the world. There's no chance we would ever do that. I just hope you don't try and fight a war over it. <laughs> I don't want to be subjugated by Britain. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. Especially not us. Okay? Especially not us. Well, at least we managed to keep the Dutch East Indies together. That's one thing. Hey, eh? That's one thing, isn't it? Yeah, colonies just taking forever. How is our infamy? Yeah, we're going to have to wait for that to tick down a bit before we start taking some more military actions. But yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Uh, Furniture-wise... Very, very bad for furniture. We need to make sure that we've got enough bureaucracy so that we can institute this last level of institution very soon. So let us build a few more government administrations. I'm thinking... Build one in Volta. Uh, yeah, they can't tax... See, this is the problem, you see. Like, all our... Like, our, what do you call them, like, little vassals, our puppets, they don't even have efficient taxation capacity in their own state. And they only have one state. Like, Oyo has one state, and it doesn't even uh, tax it efficiently. So, we should have taken that land for ourselves, really. Um, I mean, I don't want to build there, because it's going to be gone. We'll go in Dutch, Dutch Bass Congo. Let's play again. Whoa, look at this. Radical Finland. Let's go. Come on, Finland. And then the Grand Duchy of Finland. Radical Finland. 
Industrialist radicals. I love that. I love to see that. I love this chaos. This chaos in Europe, that's going to help us out. As long as no one decides that, you know, we are bad, then uh, that'll be fine. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. And I want to take Guangdong and Shaozhou very soon. But it's going to take a while to get to that point. I mean, uh, China still does have masses of troops. Uh, yeah, 721 battalions, plus 712 in reserve. Um, yeah. We need someone to, to really support us in that. What's this down here? France? Was France always there, or...? Sixty-five to form defensive uh, pact. Uh, let's see whether we can um, engage with them again. No, we can't. Not quite yet. Scandinavia looks like a bit of a power. I'm thinking. Uh, U.S. is looks very weak right now. Um. Yeah, the U.S. looks absolutely horrendous. <laughs> it does not look healthy. <laughs> they do not look healthy at all. So I'm thinking, uh, let's. We might as well use our bureaucracy. So we'll. Uh, sorry, not bureaucracy. What's it called? Influence. So we'll we'll go with Spain. It's not going to help. I probably should have gone for Russia there, but oh well. Let's uh, let's in fact cancel Spain. We can't go for Russia. Come on, Russia. What about Scandinavia? Go on, Scandinavia. Come on, this technology needs to be done. We're on minus one bureaucracy now. Uh, we need a couple more. Building-wise, we do have a couple of government administrations in there. We're going to plug them to the top. Then we're getting some lead mines, which is great. Then we're going on to the gold mines. Uh, Market-wise, again, how are we looking? Services is a big problem. Clothes, coal, uh, porcelain, tools. Porcelain? Why is there so many people wanting porcelain in our market? 422 orders for it. Tools, again, is a massive thing we need to sort out. Don't want those to be expensive. Same thing with glass and hardwood. Huh. See what I mean about being pro proactive versus reactive? Um, I'm thinking we go for... Let's go for Dutch South Cameroon. Oh. Build three there. And then let's talk about... Glass. We want glass works. Which takes, uh, wood and dye. Let's get another six of those. That'd be cool. Because that really makes our construction cheaper. If our construction goods are cheap... Our construction will be a lot cheaper. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, we've got a load of fabric. We've got a load of iron, which is great. We've got no explosives. We're going to have to, yeah, start building some chemical plants. I'm thinking we build five in Holland. Repeaters are unlocked. That's fine. Let's have a look. What's this? Cross-border investments. Yeah, fine. Thank you, Britain. More rubber. Really need this technology. We really need it ASAP. ASAP. So the government administrations are done. Fantastic. That should bring our bureaucracy up again. Let's have a look at this place. Unable to fully hire. <coughs> They want a higher wage. Hmm. Ah, well. 10% minting. Oh, my God. That has increased us by a lot. Wow. Barracks and ports. Yeah, most of the places are fully, fully hired. Sugar plantations are currently hiring. There's only 20 people in employment here. <laughs> Hold 20. Come on, you guys. <laughs> uh, it's because there's no peasants. Well, hopefully we get some migration to that region for people wanting jobs. Rubber has been discovered again. Cool. 
Look at that. That's really helped our balance out, hasn't it? That mutual funds technology. And we're getting close to malaria prevention. So good. And then we should. We should have enough lead now. We're making a whole two lead. Wow. Wow. Great. <laughs> Yes, we do need to be a little bit more careful, I think, of where we're building stuff. Uh, wood, there's a lot of wood, but there's not... Yeah, there's a lot of wood, but there's not a lot of hardwood. Uh, yeah, Dahomey's too full. No peasants available there. Let's build two in Friesland, that'll be fine. Ah, population is just still a big issue. We really need to bump that population up. Ah, and illiteracy is kind of the more we the more we start to ah, literacy is actually ticking. Ah, it's going in between the two. I was going to say I hope it's not ticking down, uh, but it's probably likely because of the places that we have conquered. Yeah, it's ticking up, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's definitely due to the places we've conquered with low literacy. Um, yeah, it's growing a colony out here as well. Good. Ah, give me that malaria prevention. That's what we're really waiting for now. Prussia's doing okay. Austria's okay. Spain, how are you looking? GDP of 29 million. We're nearly going to overtake Spain. That is great. <laughs> uh, they're ranked seventh. Austria, though, 117 million. We're a long way off that. But Prussia is... Prussia is surprisingly poor compared to Austria. Look at that. About a third. About a third. Well, no, look, sorry. Less than a third in GDP. About a quarter of their GDP Prussia has compared to Austria. That is crazy. Wow, he looks... Um, Ferdinand von Habsburg does not look a happy chappy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he does not look a happy chappy. Get these gold mines. We'll smash out some more cash. And then we'll build some more construction sectors so that we are, can build even quicker. That'll be fantastic. Get those mines in Santiago. Then we've got Aruruncia. So once they're done in Santiago, let's have a look at them. Make sure they're hiring and actually hiring properly. Yep, fully hired straight away. Fantastic. Iron mines, not that productive. Neither of the fish wharves, but it's okay. Trade center, not too good. Uh, tobacco plantations do well. Got a railway down here as well. Now we're hiring again. Yeah, gold mines people want to go to because they make money. So fair play, fair play. Get into the gold mines. And then we've got Aruncia. Yeah, and we're building all those. Do we have the peasants? No, we don't. But people will move there. It's fine. Don't need to be too worried about it. Dutch Mendoza. Then we've got Patagonia. Building-wise, yeah, there's nothing really here. I'm gonna just pop in a couple of livestock ranches just to use up the peasants in that region. More rubber plantations. Fantastic. Um, but we're doing well. We're doing well. I think we... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how we're doing. We're doing pretty decently. We'll get... Yeah. 14 weeks left. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Oh, these areas are all British now. That's not great. <laughs> I don't like it. I've got to say, I don't like it. How are the colonies doing down here? Yeah, the colony over there is fast. It's just the one on Papua that's 2,000 days. Oh, that's obscene. And then hopefully when that's done, once that technology's done, that should instantly be reduced by a lot. Guinea gets 40% devastation. I'm sorry. Gonna have to be done. Nine weeks left. Because it looks like it's so close, but it's still nine weeks. Um, yeah. Cool. Carter is... Uh, increasing relations with us. That's good. Uh, four unpinned journal entries. I don't care. Politics-wise, how is our government looking? We're still 48. It's, it's fine. I'm not too bothered by it. It doesn't really make much of a difference. That plus 25% radicals, though, would be nice to get rid of that. So... 
No, that actually reduces it. How about the Intelligentsia? No, I don't want to get rid of the Intelligentsia. Industrious, oh, they are the main thing propping up this government. So we're not going to reform them just yet. There's no need. There's no need whatsoever. Let's have a look at Patagonia. Sorry, no, it was Aurorincia. Those gold mines need to get hiring. They have hired a lot of people. So people have moved here, which is great. Yeah, people, yeah, people are moving. It says migration of minus 19k, but... People are moving into work here. I guess they're leaving the fishing wharves to go into the gold mines. So hopefully we do get some more people uh, moving across here. Yes! We are a serious contender for control of Africa. We are. Now let's try and get the rubber thing. I think it's in production. Yeah, rubber mastication. Only 30 months. Then we can start building rubber. Let's have a look at our colonies now. Really? Still 1,800 days. It shouldn't have the effect from the severe malaria anymore. So if I do this... Yeah, 274. I think it just needs to uh, load back in, bro. I think... Yeah, I think it just needs to load back in. I don't think that's right anymore. Because these places have severe malaria as well. Um... Yeah, they've got severe malaria. So, and so does this. So, yeah, they should be they should be doing fine and then we need to bump that up. Going to take 50 weeks to get up. That's another 0.1 extra colonial growth. Good. And then let's have a look at Papua then. Yeah, that's still saying 2400. I don't know whether it's worth if I I'm going to cancel Oh, it's tough. Yeah. It's just not loading. This one over there is fine. Going to cancel these. Yeah, 300 days. And we can't colonize the Congo because we can't reach it anymore. That's a nightmare. As long as we've got a sliver, though, inland, <laughs> that'll be fine. That is us. So as long as we get a sliver inland from Yaka, that'll be fine. And then we're also taking down here. I just really want them to take the coast first rather than the inland. That'd be great. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave it there for today. It has been not the most eventful episode, but we've been building up slowly. Uh, we've been going and now we finally have our malaria prevention, which is fantastic. Anyway, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.